everyone, and welcome back once again to Al Kendall's Time Travel Concert Series. Uh, today we are looking at Fleetwood Mac, live, uh, from 1980, 1979, 80, the Tusk Tour. Um, this is one of those bands that I just think uh, this was their peak. This is when they had been together as this particular unit with Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks um, for several years. Um, and really were tight at this point um, but they were starting to splinter uh, interests of solo careers crept in and so the band was never really quite that tight again Mirage was a good album and everything but, uh, but never meeting the creativity that they experienced uh, during Rumors and Tusk and the success and um, but the live performances, man, that's what it's all about. And this live album is one of my favorite albums of all time. It's a double live, uh, recorded over a couple of years um, at different stops. Um, but, I mean, the performances of Go Your Own Way and Rhiannon and um, Not That Funny, I'm So Afraid, so chilling. I mean, you have to check that one out. It's so beautiful. Um, but just just uh just i mean just amazing performances lindsey buckingham uh earns a spot as one of my favorite guitarists of all time simply based on the work on this album now which show would i want to have gone to now based the set list on um the show they did on my birthday february 13th 1980 but as you can see in the liner notes can I don't know if it'll focus anyway, or not the liner notes, but on the sleeve, yes, technically liner notes, I guess, um, we have their tour dates for the whole tour. And um, so I used the set list, I looked it up, that they used on February 13th, 1980 in Yokohama, Japan, in front of 2,000 people uh, at Kinman Hall. Anyway, but the closest it appears that they ever came to my hometown of Huntington, West Virginia, was Cincinnati, Ohio, at the Riverfront Coliseum which held 13,000, a little bit better crowd than they got in Yokohama. Anyway, um, so we are going to be paying tribute to that. Uh, I was not a big Fleetwood Mac fan yet when I was only nine years old. Um, it wasn't until Stevie's solo career, I don't know, I, I probably did like rumors and everything, but Stevie, Stevie's solo career really turned me on to them, uh, so certainly I wouldn't have jumped up and ran to that concert. I do remember when they came to Rupp Arena in Lexington uh, on the Mirage Tour with Minute Work opening. And Minute Work will be in our uh, series a little bit later this year. So here we go. Let's check it out from 1980, 79-ish, Fluid Mag. <laughs> 